Enjoy your day. We're so glad you're back. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. you. Back. Yes. Now loading on track number one for a trip around Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. All aboard. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Disney 24-7 here. It's Disney all the time. Today we're back here at Touch of Disney, finally. We're walking on the tram right now, actually going to DCA. Uh, we just made it through security and screening. Right when the gates were opening up down at the bottom of Mickey and Friends, a whole bunch of cars actually like just started honking. Like everyone was super excited to be here. Today I'm here with my mom as well. She's right here. She'll be joining us uh, for some food. Yeah, it's a warm day. It's a beautiful day here touch of Disney. Well, over here along the tram route, we got some Autopia cars presented by Honda, apparently. And they got touch of Disney stickers on them. But now we've got a little bit of a wait ahead of us. Sweet. Thank you. We're in touch of Disney. This is awesome. So it looks like they got like all the eating places on here. It's, this is a pretty cool map too. It's like super colorful. It shows us what to look forward to for today. Let's go. I don't know how well you guys can hear it, but overhead they're playing like rendition music of like different Disney songs and stuff. This is kind of a bop. What's that mean? It means it's awesome. Oh. Okay. Well, this is definitely a familiar sight. We've seen this place quite a few times over the past few months, but still is really great to see Buena Vista Street. He's up there. He's doing his fishing thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks like he caught something. What'd you catch, Goofy? That's so cool. It's stuck. No. Over here at Little Mermaid, they're actually doing like some renovation right now to the to the entrance here. And people are like legitimately working on it right now. Looks like a fresh coat of paint, getting it all ready for the summertime. This looks like super freshened up over here as well. Like just along the side of Little Mermaid. And they, they got a cool little photo op right here as well. And then they have one of the parade floats from the Pixar Play Parade here. It's one of the Monsters University ones, and then there's Roz. Go get me a churro. All right, so over here at Grizzly Peak, they have the Golden Dreams booth. This one is probably the one I was most looking forward to. And so we got one of each of these things here. These all look pretty tasty. And then you come over here and you pick it up at these little booths, and then you can take it off and go eat wherever you'd like in the park. The Rose Lemonade, I actually didn't know that it had a rose petal on the top. That's funny, actually. We have our little setup of food right here from Golden Dreams right next to the water. That is actually one of the appeals of Lamplight Lounge is you kind of get like that bayside seating. But I love that for Touch of Disney, they're making it so that you can actually sit right alongside the water here. All right, so first up, we got the carbonara mac and cheese here from Golden Dreams. It looks pretty dang good. I'm not sure if they've had it at the festival, like the food and wine festival before, but it looks amazing. But what I'm really excited for are these, the sweet and spicy chicken wings that they actually have from Trader Sam's here. When they meant that stuff would be in like snack sized portions, they weren't lying. That thing is, that thing is pretty tiny. That there's my hand for reference. That is, that's a little, it's a little baby burger. Let's take a bite of our, our little, our little bite-sized burger here. I guess it really is a slider, so. <sighs> They've had this at the festival before, so I kind of knew what to expect. But yeah, it's good. And let's uh, let's try this. I when I put the straw in, I actually put the rose petal down at the bottom, so maybe that'll add some extra fancy flavor. <laughs> that is some good lemonade. That is really good. Wow. That, that's a good, hey, if you're coming to Touch of Disney, th this is pretty dang good. I would, I would recommend. Pretty sure it's fresh squeezed. I could be wrong, but. All right, so we got the carbonara mac and cheese here. I don't think I've had this specific mac and cheese at the food. Maybe we have. It's good. Honestly, anything with bacon is good. Like you can't go wrong with bacon. I like that the texture the the bread come, the breadcrumbs bring as well. My most anticipated food item. I've been I've been oh my gosh, Trader Sam's is probably one of my favorite restaurants on property. It's such a cool spot and it reminds me of Hawaii. Uh, but these wings, these sweet and spicy wings from Trader Sam's, oh. 
they're they're a lot sweeter than I remember to be honest, but they're they're pretty good. Magnifique. <laughs> we got some characters that are actually over here on the Mickey Silly Symphony, and it looks like Mickey and Daisy are up there right now. There's Mickey. Looks like he's dancing to the music right now. Over here in the Legacy Passholder Corner, they have like a whole photo op booth uh, for California Adventure's 20th anniversary. Yeah, and then these are the Legacy Passholder pins and buttons that they have for Touch of Disney. These are pretty cool. How are you doing? Trying to get by? It's a bummer your ride isn't open right now. Seriously, I know. Too much, it's too much. Well, I hope you're doing well and maybe, you know, you can get through your day. Is that a memory you got there? That's a core memory? Oh, it's a sad memory. That is the 2020 memory core right there. Makes sense. All right, well, it was good to see you. Have a good day, hopefully. They got bing bongs. They got bing bong sweet stuff over here open as well. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting this. They have the, they have the games open over here. So we just found out that the uh, the games over here are completely free. And right now, it's uh, one party at a time. So like you're basically guaranteed to, to get whatever you want. That's so cool. I feel like I'm gonna do horrible at this. Oof. Oh, first try. Dang it. Oh, dude. Oh. Got Heimlich and flick. That's awesome. I'm kind of impressed with my performance though. I, I, I was not expecting to get any in. Oh, and Credit Coaster, how I missed you so. Although I think it's funny. This actually does say that it's open and it's only a 10 minute wait, which would be amazing. It's basically like a walk on at that point. Such a fun ride. Can't wait for, for it to reopen, be able to go on it again. Well, I think it's safe to say I definitely missed Pixar Pier. All right, well, we finally got our Dole Whip. Uh, it definitely melted a little bit, but we got a nice spot here uh, in Grizzly Peak in the shade next to the Russian River Outfitters. Well, first bite of Dole Whip, and I can't even remember how long. I'm excited for uh, Dole Whip, so. Definitely good as I remember it. You can't go wrong with this stuff. And you know what? It actually kind of tastes good melted because it's like, I don't know, it just tastes more creamy, if that makes sense, but. Over here at the Grand Californian, we saw Donald Duck. Hi, Donald! How are you doing? <laughs> I almost missed you. I didn't see you. Oh, <laughs> good to see you, bud. I think at this point, everyone's kind of just chilling. Uh, they found like their spot sitting around somewhere. But the WandaVision photo op is actually still here. That's pretty cool. And then just like I thought, they uh, did keep the border over here at Hollywood Land. So you can't go over to Mission Breakout right now. Overall, Hollywood Land and Hollywood Boulevard are pretty much the same uh, as they were when Buena Vista Street was just open. All right, well, it's time to head into Cars Land for the first time in forever. That was kind of cheesy, but I, anyways, I am pretty excited to head in here. It feels like a dream, you know? Like, we've been here before, obviously, like a decent amount of times, and then like, not coming for so long and like just knowing that people haven't been in so long uh, and then just finally coming back it's great and then over here right at Luigi's uh, they have a cool photo op here you can get up close and personal to some of the ride vehicles from uh, Luigi's Rollick and Roadsters like right in front of the attraction that's awesome you can actually meet Lightning McQueen over here in front of Radiator Springs Racers just over here <laughs> I didn't know his name was Lightning Kachow, that's different. Currently, Flows is closed, but they do still use the seating out here uh, for like extra seating. Over here next to the official spot for Luigi's Rollick and Roadsters, uh, this is where you actually will go in uh, to the Cozy Cone and like order your food and stuff. Has this entrance always been here? I don't usually go to Cozy Cone that much for food, but what really just caught my eye is over here we can see the Quinjet as part of Avengers Campus and like the Avengers building right there. That's sick. That thing is big. Avengers Campus will probably open in midsummer. We can also kind of see what the entrance will be like. This looks like where the restrooms will be at the backside of Avengers Campus. 
Um, and then as well as like the Doctor Strange show. So looks pretty cool. Not expecting to be able to see this much detail. This is cool. You can meet Mater over here outside of Radiator Springs Racers. You get a pretty good view over here too. This is awesome. Hey, dumb. I ain't never seen so many good looking smiles in Radiator Springs in my entire life. Well, thank you, Mater. Another store that is currently closed is Ramon's. Um, not all of the merchandise locations are currently open. Some of them I just think it's because they're too small in general and others like, you know, they, they have enough merchandise to sell basically, like, you know, in World of Disney and Elias and Co. So if you're coming to Touch of Disney and you're expecting some of the places to be open, uh, just know there's a possibility that the store you might specifically want to go to may be closed. Well, the sun is setting here on Pixar Pier, so let's go grab some food. And then while we do so, it'll get dark and then we will see California Adventure in its nighttime form. All right, so over here at Smoke Jumpers, we have this awesome looking s'mores milkshake. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm like a big fan of s'mores in general, but they just made that look good. That's awesome. Here we have the brisket mac and cheese, as well as the Monte Cristo over from uh, the Blue Bayou restaurant. So that's pretty cool. This is over from Disneyland. Uh, but these both, these, these all three look really good. So we're about to dig in here. Well, it's not the Trisket, it's the brisket uh, mac and cheese here. Um, this looks this looks like 4th of July, basically, in a meal. Um, so let's try this thing. This looks good. Okay, well, that's a, that's a I think that's a big enough bite. Wow, okay. It's pretty good, though. Yeah, that, I don't know if it's better than the mac and cheese we had earlier, but it's, it's pretty dang good. Do you think it's better? No. And then we have the uh, Monte Cristo here. Uh, this is from Blue Bayou again. It's sprinkled with uh, powdered sugar, like like beignets, you know. Uh, and uh, wow, just look at that. That looks really good. Let's, uh, let's dig into this guy. Monte Cristo. That was really good. Like it shouldn't work, but it does. You know. It's it's like eating. It's like literally eating a beignet with meat and cheese yeah it also comes with this what it like a jam right that, that is really really good try it with the the like i think really raspberry jam here i know it tastes it tastes like a beignet i don't really get much meat in that bite but the jam is good too wow that is that's good i'm not expecting it to be that good and then we'll get to the highlight here or at least in my opinion this beautiful looking um s'mores milkshake wow that looks all and they even like toasted like they literally like toasted the marshmallow so it's like a like a s'more uh but oh my gosh <laughs> of course it tastes really good it's super sweet though it literally tastes like liquid marshmallow and then there's a lot of like chocolate sauce there on the bottom too so i think i got a big scoop of that but that is really good all right so here we are with the fluffernutter churro this thing looks awesome looks so good it's a regular churro with chocolate chips peanut butter and marshmallow sauce it honestly looks amazing and it smells so good too. here we go a little perfect little bite-sized thing i want to eat it before it all slides away here but uh yeah it smells super good um i'm sure it'll taste good too but let's let's find out it's very peanut buttery it tastes more like peanut butter than the marshmallow but it works it, it tastes pretty good is it better than a regular churro probably not but you know what it's different and it's good it was sweet though all churros are sweet anyways but you know just prepare yourself for that good to have maybe some some water on the side but yeah so the sun has set at this point and night has fallen on the touch of disney event the very first one so let's go take a look around at some of these uh lights that are around here because we haven't seen pixar pier or cars land at night in over a year so
right, well, while we're on the subject of lights and DCA, Avengers Campus is lit up right now. They got the Quinjet and the Avengers logo all lit up and even Mission Breakout in the distance. Uh, very cool. It looks sick. Honestly, I legitimately think that Avengers Campus is pretty much done at this point. Uh, they're just waiting to open it separate from the park. Speaking of the Avengers Campus lights being on, this is something that we couldn't originally see from the side uh, where we were roped off. But there is the uh, Spider-Man logo for the attraction right there all lit up. That looks sick. Uh, this is a view that we're very familiar with over the past few months, but this is Avengers Campus all lit up at night. Looks amazing, and there's Guardians in the distance too. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Touch of Disney was such a great event. I'm really glad that Disney was able to do this. I've had so much fun today. All of the food was, was amazing. It was really good. Seeing the lights at night was awesome, and just the overall positivity of everyone was so great to see. So stoked for Disneyland to be opening on April 30th. We have a date. So exciting. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all again real soon.